everyone. My name is Dora. Today, I'll read a poem, Life in 2512. Life in 2512. In the last five hundred years, many things got to change. How about 491 years ago? How would the future look? Nobody knows. There are many questions in the earth. But one night, I had a dream. I dreamt that I traveled through time to the year 2512. The sky looked black and dirty. Nobody wants to come outside. They all look unhappy. They all look mad. I knock on many doors, but just a man open. I asked the man, why don't you come outside and why do you look so mad? The man answered, the air is so dirty. Nobody wants to come out the door. We got bored inside until we got mad. When I woke up, I think that is not just a dream. So, if we can protect the environment, only then the future can be better. To let the Earth to be the best planet in the universe. Thank you, everyone. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about Elmer's trip in the magic world. One day, a little girl called Elma was camping with her elder sister, Eva. When they were ready to sleep, a beautiful fairy appeared. She said, Would you like to have a trip in a happy magic world? Eva and Elma were surprised. They slowly nodded their heads. And let's go, smiled the fairy. She waved her wand, and Eva and Elma floated in the dark sky. They went up and up until they could stand on a cloud. The girls were excited. They ran into a shop. There were flying shoes, many moving drawings, magic wands, witches' hats, and many special things that they had never seen. They saw castles, fairies, witches, and some little elves. They chatted with the little elves and they ate many delicious things that they had never eaten before. They tried to use magic light, making food appear and making time go backwards. They also met unicorns, flying lions, dragons, and many cool creatures. They had a great time there. Elma, Elma, why don't you sleep? After you brush your teeth, Eva's voice inquired. Emma opened her eyes and realized that they were still camping. Okay, I'm coming, replied Emma. She can't wait to tell Eva her dream. Thank you, everybody. Uh, e, go. If you could be any animal, what animal would you want to be? By Rick. If you could be any animal on this earth, what animal would you want to be? Some animals are heavy. Some animals are light. Some animals can swim in the water. Some animals can fly in the sky. Now, I will start to tell you my idea. If I could be any animal, I would want to be the smallest dog. Do you know why? That's because I think a dog is the cutest animal on this earth. They can let everyone very happy. Do you know why I would want to be the smallest dog? That's because I think small things can easily fit in your head. If I am a small dog, my owner can take me everywhere. I have more ideas. Can I tell you why I would want to be the smallest dog? Did you know a dog's nose? and ears are better than people's. A dog's nose can smell up to 100 meters away. But many scientists also say that a dog's nose can smell even as far as 
10 kilometers away. Did you know a dog's ears can hear the sound that is very, very far? They can also hear the sound that is very, very soft. The sound you cannot hear. These are my reasons why I would want to be the smallest dog. Do you think you would want to be a dog too? I think you will. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, my name is Tepel. Today, my story is The Lion's Share. A long time ago, a lion, a fox, a tiger, and a wolf had a meeting near a forest and agreed to go hunting together. That way, the four animals could share with each other whatever one of them found. One day, the wolf ran down deer. He called the other three partners to divide the deer. The lion, the fox, and the tiger came very fast. However, the lion quickly placed himself at the head of the deer to carve it without being asked. Then, he began to count the guests with a show of fairness. One, the lion said, counting on his claws. That's myself, the lion. Two, that's the wolf. Three, is the tiger and the fox makes four. He then very carefully divided the deer into four equal parts. I am king lion, he said. So, I get the first part. This next part falls to me because I am the strongest. The third part is also mine because I am the bravest of us. He then stared at the others very savagely. If one of you touches the part that's left, he growls, stretches claws. I am afraid and ask them what happened. Now people learning English use the lion's share to mean the biggest portion since the lion in the story takes more than all the other animals do. The story teaches people always to choose partners carefully as well. Thank you for your listening. Hello everyone, my name is Ella. Today, I'm going to introduce a country called Thailand. I like Thailand because it's like my second homeland. When I was in kindergarten, my mom and dad took me to live in Thailand for two years. My favorite place is Pattaya. Pattaya is beside the beach. There are so many luxury resorts swimming pools and crazy water parks in Pattaya. I can play in the water from day till night. The seafood there is also yummy. Anyway, it's a really good place to spend your holiday. If you have chance to go to Pattaya, you must go. I lived and went to school in Bangkok. I ate Thai food. I spoke 